After 15 long seasons, American Idol finally came to an end, but not before crowning its final winner and reliving the past 14 years with incredible performances from past winners and contestants. This episode of Clever News Feed is brought to you by NHTSA, reminding us that if you're texting, you're not driving. Last night's American Idol series finale was packed with excitement, a lot of returners to the show, and tons of nostalgia, and in case you miss it, not to worry, because we've got you covered. Kicking off our list was the inevitable reunion of Simon, Paula, and Randy. While it was anticipated that the three original judges would make an appearance at the finale, Paula and Randy were the only two that came out on stage, and right when they were about to talk about how Simon couldn't make it, well, you guessed it, the man himself walked out on stage and surprised everyone. Simon even called Paula, Randy, and Ryan his best friends during his touching speech, and it was the most amazing moment any Idol fan could ask for, well, almost. I mean, what would an American Idol finale be without its biggest, most successful Idol returning to perform a medley of her hits on the show, the one that kicked off her whole musical career? Sadly, Kelly Clarkson's performance was pre-taped due to her pregnancy, but that doesn't mean it wasn't great because seriously, it was. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. It pretty much came full circle with that performance, don't you think? As incredible as it was seeing the original judges back together and Kelly's fantastic medley of all of her hits, it was even better watching Jennifer Hudson, Fantasia Barrino, and LaToya London, aka the show's biggest divas, get together for an incredible rendition of Bridge Over Troubled Water. Like a bridge over troubled water. Oh my gosh! That performance is giving me goosebumps all over. As amazing as it would have been to have the last show just feature solo performances from the best Idol contestants of the past, it would have obviously taken away from Trent and LaPorsche's night, so the show gave us the next best thing, super, super long medleys featuring a ton of the past contestants, and that within itself was so amazing. So with that being said, the next best moment that made it onto the list was the entire acoustic medley that featured Katherine McPhee, Clay Aiken, Ruben Studdard, Jessica Sanchez, and a few others. But since we can't show you the entire performance, here is Jessica ending the powerful medley by slaying the prayer. Killed it. Another best moment from the bittersweet night was Kimberly Locke's return to Idol, not to mention her little duet with Jordan Sparks in the middle of the pop medley. It was pretty great. Baby, you're so amazing. Seven days and, seven nights of and of course, the show couldn't end without a few performances from the people who managed to make their way into our hearts by just auditioning for the show. Yeah, you guys know what I'm getting at. William Hung, he got a little taste of what it was like to make it past the beginning audition round and finally perform for a huge crowd on Idol. But he wasn't the only one. Larry Platt also made a quick appearance with his original pants on the ground during the pop medley performance. <laughs> and it was the best thing ever. Take a look. So much has happened on American Idol in the past 14 years, and somehow the producers managed to fit almost everything that made the show what it was in just a two hour slot. Right before the show ended and Ryan was signing off from American Idol for what was supposed to be the last time ever, he was heard saying, that's it, and took a huge pause and added, for now, I'm sorry Ryan, excuse me, but for now. So 
Does that mean there's a possibility that American Idol might be coming back in the future? Because that sign off obviously leaves it open for any possibilities or maybe a reboot. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. All right, you guys, if I missed your favorite moment from the finale, let me know what it is, what it was in the comment section below. And when you're done leaving all of your thoughts, all of your feelings and emotions about the show ending, click right over here to find out how Dylan O'Brien is doing after his scary onset accident. As usual, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Jocelyn Davis. Oh, and one last thing before you go, click to the left for a little game of truth or date with some celebrities at the iHeartRadio Music Awards, or click over to the right for famous singers who are rejected from American Idol. Thanks again to NHTSA for reminding us that if you're texting, you're not driving, and for sponsoring today's episode. For more information, click the link below.